from the beginning of 2023, I officially embarked on the path of personal entrepreneurship. As a content creator, I have to manage my boutique podcast and maintain social connections. At the same time, I also have to balance my self-education studies. The huge workload in this progress has left me physically and mentally exhausted. There are so many work details and uh, content reasons that have overwhelmed. I urgently hope to build a system that can help me plan and organize all of my work. So in October this year, after comparing numerous uh, note-taking apps, I officially switched to Logseek. Why Logseek? Yes, I know there are so many note-taking apps in the market, such as Notion, OneNote, or Evernote, etc. After thoroughly comparing these options, I ultimately chose Logsig as my primary note-taking software. First of all, Logsig can operate locally, which is apart from the other note-taking apps that often require storing data in a third-party cloud. If you want, you can run it totally offline because it is significantly for me to keep the data totally in my control. Due to the nature of my industry and the special requirements of, of the clients I serve, I consider data safety as my first priority to share about. My entrepreneurship and work also don't allow any information to be stored in clouds, especially there are so many sensitive information that connect with my guests, which need to be protected very carefully. Moreover, the offline feature provides Logseek with the rapid data retrieval capability, which can allow me search nodes without worrying the connections of network speed. It ensures my nodes always in a stable researching status. I've encountered this kind of situations before. When I was setting up an offline podcast recording environment where network issues prevented me from accessing the nodes, moments like those can be very embarrassing because when there are so many people only waiting for a person that situation that's gonna be so embarrassing and awkward so after that time i just uh, promised to myself i won't make this uh, situation happen again logsig can access all nodes uh, offline so you don't worry about this kind of problems anymore and of course if you want to sync your files across multiple devices you can easily enable service like iCloud or NetStore. There are so many straightforward processes you can choose. Secondly, this app is free. Yeah, I know when I want to obtain some productivity, I need to pay for some money. I never mind spending money to enhance the efficiency. However, with Logseek, you can just get a fantastic service without spending a dime. So why not taking advantage of that? and especially during the early stage of a startup which without generating a stable cash flow budget consciousness is pretty crucial if you can achieve your goals without spending money it is advisable building a company is never being an easy thing but have more cash can give you more control of your future and the last point I love Logseek so much is that totally integrated with the markdown when i organize my writing tasks using markdown my writing become more smoothly and my songs flow more quickly it has significantly saved my time on writing and helped to organize ideas on a page it also support multiple title layers this function totally saved me in past period because i'm running a boutique podcast i have so many opportunities to interview or chat with the leaders or the big names in various industries. So when I before starting the recording, I always spend a huge time on scripting questions. I will prepare a huge number of questions for every single guest. Also because of the block-based feature, 
It means your every point paragraph are all organized very well by bullet points. So your notes will never be messed. I can check any block free willing, no matter constrained by intent or layers. The ability to conduct questions with multiple title layers helps me stay organized. I even can script without the function now. Additionally, in Logseek, markdown files are plain text, which is source code fully supported. So I can find the source file in my hardware folders. This allows me to migrate the markdown file to any markdown editor software, such as Obsidian, Notion, or Roam Research. Or even I can directly import them into a block formatting software, so I don't need to worry about the file migration problems anymore. As in my opinion, if you want to be a professional writer, you should start from markdown writing first. Now, let's talk about how to use Logseek as a personal knowledge management program. Logseek has so many awesome features that you should use daily. As for me, the most significant feature is the daily notes. Through this feature, I can easily record my work log. I was seeking a work log app for a very long while. And now I finally find it. After dropped from a high school, I realized that if I want to build success, the discipline is the most important thing. Although there is no one to always remind me like when I was in a school. Therefore, work log is the best way to build the self-discipline and help me stay updated. Whether it's about my work process or my study process, I can just always Always document them in the notes. It serves as the best tool to chase my growth and work progress, which allowing me to continuously improve and iterate on the most suitable work method for myself. In Logsig, this continuous rolling daily page make it convenient for me to have a quick glance of my work every day. I've created a template, a daily work log, and with the log a custom configuration. I've set it off the daily note. The second interesting feature is the write screen. When I'm writing in Logseek, sometimes I just want to open the previous file or some related notes while I'm writing in another page. So I don't need to leave the page. I can just open the second view on the right side by just pressing shift button. The feature is so convenient which reduces the app switching time and effectively utilize the advantage of a horizontal large screen. Unlike Notion, which is typically confined to a single screen, although Notion also can be used on multiple screens, but the user experience is not as well as the log signal. The dual screen interface for note taking tremendously boosts my writing speed and ensures me continuously stay in flow. Similarly, like Obsidian, Logsig is based on a bi-directional linking system, which allowing for the establishment of interconnections between individual nodes. The human brain tends to remember things more profoundly when they are interconnected rather than single points. In comparison to Obsidian, Logsig's implementations of bi-directional linking is more user-friendly. I can modify related nodes as needed. Logsig is offering a unique and effective way of maintaining a personal information system. For another function, Logsig also has the graph view so you can very easily use a visual way to see the relationship of all different kinds of points ideas graphics nodes or something else our biology information capture system is up to 60 percent based on the visuals so now why it is a killer function for students writers content creators and researchers while creating links 
between related nodes. You can just create things more quickly and easily because the root of creativity is just like linking up different points. The more far points you can link them together, the more interesting things you will create. Linking items is the foundation of creation. In addition, Loxy has an abundant plugin market and a continuously growing community of third-party developers. In my view, an excellent software must support expandable plugins to provide space for imaginative for user needs. In Logsig, you can visit its plugin marketplace to download anyone you want. Even for plugins that haven't been officially released, you can also find the installation package on its community or websites or GitHub. But I'd like to emphasize that Logsig is particularly good for note-taking and task management. Installing plugins that deviate too much from this framework may lead to bugs, potentially compromise the user experience. Remember, we don't need to spend too much time on tinkering with tools. Rather, we should focus on utilizing Logsig's unique features maximizingly. So after that, Let's talk about how Logsig changed me. After making Logsig as my first choice note-taking software, my work attitude has also been influenced totally. I write daily journals every day now and utilizing the clear morning hours to plan my day. Previously, I would always wake up feeling confused about how to utilize my time, just like often wasting a much portion of the day also without a clear concept of completed or uncompleted tasks. Logsig has greatly reduced this confusion. And at that time, I was struggling with my identity and had no clear definition of my social roles. However, while using WorkLog and the notes association features in Logsig, I gradually realized that I'm a content creator now. I also figured out a big portion of my life mission and passion with the involvement of note-taking software like Logsig into my daily life that inspired me to embrace the identity label and be proud of it. Logsig has elevated my sense of purpose and completely reshaped my work style. For a content creator, the most important thing is just keeping going. And Logsig now has become an indispensable tool for me. I can now work and record my inspirations at any time, anywhere. Through this app, it's significant boosted my joy of content creating journey. If you are also inspired to be a content creator, starting with Logsig may be the perfect step. Okay, that's the video today. Feel free let me know if you have any specific points that you'd like to further learn or if you have any songs, you can just comment below. And if you think this video is pretty helpful, please just give me a like. You can't imagine this action how helpful to my content creator. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get more upcoming videos. Turn on the notifications so you won't miss them now. Let's see you in the next one.